Hello everyone, welcome back to .NET Core Central. Today I am going to use PostgreSQL, which is uh, essentially a RDBMS database, and try to connect to the PostgreSQL using .NET Core application. So first thing I'm going to do is download and install Postgres on my Windows PC. So let me start the downloading. Postgres is a standard RDBMS database and uh, here I'm going to select the latest version Windows download so Postgres is a RDBMS database it has a fantastic support for JSON and also Postgres can be distributed across multiple nodes using Citus a data extension or an extension on top of Postgres SQL and we can get all the advantages in terms of sharding and horizontal scaling of the Postgres database using this extension today I'm just going to focus on Postgres SQL and uh, how we can connect it in a .NET Core. So let me run the installer. I'm going to use standard setup. It's a standard port form and go ahead. While the installation is going on, I'm going to open Visual Studio and create a new .NET Core project for connecting to the Postgres SQL Server. I need to create a new project. I'm going to create a console application. I'm going to name the application as test Postgres. Open up the application. And my project is created. And looks like the Postgres installation is complete. Next thing I'm going to do is create a new database into the Postgres server, create a table and then using the .NET Core I can add and read the data from that table. Which is the Postgres admin application. The application has opened up. And this is the server. I'm going to provide my password. Here I log into my server. I'm just going to go ahead and create a new database and name it as time management. The database is created. I'm going to create a table called employee and for the time being I'm just going to keep three properties So I'm going to keep first name, last name and address and then I'm just going to execute the query and the table is created so now I can just do and I 
can see there is no data here. The next thing I will do is open my Visual Studio project and try to connect to this, try to connect to the Postgres server. So for connecting to the Postgres server, the first thing I'm going to do is add a new get package called npg sql. And I'm going to install this new get package. Looks like the new get package is installed. The next thing I'm going to just install the depot. Now that both depper and new get package is installed. I'm just going to inside of the main cell. I'm going to just create a the next thing in I'm going to use the queue to add the namespace and here I'm going to provide the connection string for the connection string I'm going to just use the standard Postgres connection string here so I'm going to say host equal to local host And the next thing is uh, database. Okay. So once the connection is created, I'm just going to do connection dot open, and then. I can do connection dot query and here I'm going to add the depper namespace and I can string and here I can say select first name from employee. I might have instead the password so let me quickly fix it I think this is uh, also let me start again Query should execute without any issues. So my connection testing is successful. Next thing I'm going to do is uh, create some data into the database and show it in the console. So for that, first thing I'm going to do is connection dot execute and here I'm going to say insert okay. and I'm going to 
the first name as John, last name as Sunny, and address as P3. Then I'm going to close it down. And next thing I'm going to just select the first name and then I'm just going to say console dot read line at right line and to print out the value. And here I'm going to just say console dot read line. So that I can see the response in the output. So I'm going to get rid of these and start. Uh, I have error. Um, insert statement is incorrect. So I'm going to employ. Oh, I have to give. I have to give the uh, uh, column names. So I'm going to say first name, first name, and the values. So I'm going to start again. Again, oh, I get a list, so it is printing out. So let me just go back to the admin and see that the value is inserted properly. And then next time, yeah, I got John Smith, it got inserted appropriately. And here in the code, I'll just get rid of this insert treatment now it's not needed i already inserted and here since it's a collection all i'm going to do is dot fast fast will ask me to add the link namespace and then and that's about it selecting a single value so I'm just going to run this one this time and this should print out John and yeah prints out John stop this so this is a very simple example of how we can use PostgreSQL with the .NET code PostgreSQL is extremely powerful it is open source it is multi-platform you can use it in any platform windows or linux it is open source free and using the citus plugin for postgresql it can be scaled horizontally in a distributed environment and can work as a distributed database it also has a fantastic support for json in my next video i'm going to explore how json can be used indexed and used in a dotnet core application and i'm going to modify this application a little bit so that i have appropriate class structures and hierarchies to show how the application works this is all i have for today thanks so much for watching the video